Bismillah. In this video, we're going to explore the meaning of learning. So, the definition of learning. Learning is referred to as any relatively permanent change in behavior. Okay, the focus is on change in behavior brought about by experience or practice. So, this would be the reason for the change in behavior. So, this is, uh, is what we understand in psychology as learning. So, you know, uh, you know, if you, you actually use this word, you know, uh, when Ali learns something, uh, it indicates that uh, there's probably, you know, behavior can also be something that is inside the mind, the mental process as well. Okay. Uh, so, uh, when Ali first uh, actually do not know how to ride a bike and then suddenly uh, his behavior changed to being able to ride a bike. So, from not able to ride, ride a bike, to be able to ride a bag, there is basically permanent change in behavior. So you then call, oh, Ali has learned to ride a bike. Okay. And brought by experience or practice. In this case, Ali, uh, you know, experienced that change in behavior by practicing. Through practicing several times, he fall, uh, you know, he fell several times before being able to actually ride the bike. Okay, so so that's an example there. Okay, of practice or experience is the reason uh, of a person uh, change behavior or mental processes. Also, the same case for uh, first, uh, uh, let's say John. Okay, think that there is three gods. Okay, and then after learning, okay, and then finding, okay, like uh, the learning the Quran and etc. Then Ali change. Okay, his belief. Okay to thinking that God is only one. Okay. Now, so that is basically another, you know, permanent change as well, in particular, the thinking behavior in particular, and by experience of reading, for example. So, there is also, you consider that, oh, Ali has learned that God is one through the teaching of Islam, for example. So, there is also a form of learning as well. Okay, so it is it revolves around uh, you know a relatively permanent change in behavior brought by experience or practice. Uh, relatively permanent. What does it particular means here? When a person learns something, some part of the brain physically change to keep what was learned. So uh, that is why you know it is pointed out as relatively permanent. Okay. Meaning to say that, you know, permanent to the extent whereby it actually change, okay, uh, physically the the, 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 the the structure of the brain. Okay, like macam five minutes ago when you did not learn, okay, uh, the the meaning of learning in psychology, for example, right, your brain is, is, is like version A brain. Okay, now after you have learned several, uh, you know, uh, the definition of learning in psychology, your brain now is not exactly the same as your brain five minutes ago. Especially when you learn something new, when you experience a certain uh, significant experience that make you learn about something, for example, uh, you know, your brain physically change in, in that aspect there. Okay, so that's why, you know, uh, you want to, you know, always uh, be in a state of learning because, you know, it somehow, the brain is like the muscles you you, you move it, you you somehow exercise it, then it becomes better. Okay, so that's particularly the meaning of learning. Allah wa'alaam.